Really? I mean, give us a break already. Wouldn't it be great if we could go on vacation anywhere again like normal people? I was asked on my Instagram account, what are the best places to travel during COVID? Well, the three main things that are stopping you from traveling in 2021 is fear of catching COVID, airline restrictions like masks, negative tests, and proof of vaccine, or maybe you're not ready to go because you know the crowds at your destinations would be light and less festive. Now this list is evolving, so make sure you read the Department of State's COVID-19 pages before you plan any international travel, which can be located at the link that I'm putting above. But still, we need a break from lockdowns, hopelessness, and worries about the future. I've been on a few vacations since this all started, from Tanzania to Cabo San Lucas and Cancun. Will it be safe to travel in 2021? Are countries even gonna let you win? How can you take advantage of this situation and score great deals to places you've always wanted to visit? Today on Passport Kings, I got you covered because in this video, I'm gonna tell you about six places that you could visit in 2021 that'll make you forget all about 2020. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make informed decisions while you're booking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the notification bell so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. All right, so number six is St. Kitts and Nevis. According to the John Hopkins University Center for Systems Science and Engineering, St. Kitts and Nevis has only had 39 cases and not one death reported till this day. When it comes to where to travel in 2021, St. Kitts and Nevis marks off all the check boxes. Architectural buildings are one of a kind, nature and wildlife tours are second to none, the zip lining experiences are unrivaled, and the four wheel drive tours are fast paced and unique. The people of St. Kitts and Nevis will welcome you with open arms. Stay at either Bassetary, Charlestown, Frigate Bay, or Turtle Beach. Make dinner reservations for at least one night in Palm Court Gardens and restaurants. Although the COVID-19 levels are low, the CDC recommends that you get a COVID test three days before you leave this island paradise and three to five days after you get home. Number five, Dominica. Out of the entire island, Dominica only had 121 cases of the pandemic and no deaths. Dominica is definitely one of the best places to travel in 2021. Now, only a few tourists have Dominica on their Caribbean to-do list, but I'm here to change your mind. The mountains are majestic, and it looks like somebody exaggerated the greens in Photoshop for their forest. The ladies are more friendlier than the American homeless people who offer to help you park your car when nobody asks them. An Airbnb is your best option for lodging because big hotels and resorts are scarce. Remember to use the code that I'm putting in this pop-up and in the description so you can save up to $65 on the first time that you use Airbnb. Ecotourists will have a one-of-a-kind authentic experience. They take the conservation of local forestry and wildlife seriously. Hikers will be in heaven. The CDC recommends that you stay at home for at least seven days after you return. Number four is Tanzania. While I was there in 2020, locals one after another would brag about how there was no COVID in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. But in the research, John Hopkins said that there were 21 deaths. It was probably tourists who brought it with them. We only were sure to wear our masks when we congregated with other tourists. Most airlines require you to take a test no more than three days before you fly here and almost everywhere else. Yet there are no COVID restrictions in Dar es Salaam. I still feel that this is one of the best 2021 travel destinations. Life was normal. And if you want to be extra careful, just wear a mask all the time. The pop-up is my full-length video of my stay in Tanzania and also Zanzibar. These Eastern African countries are in development mode and you can see the progress right in front of your eyes. Then when you hit the beaches of Zanzibar, you will get a true taste of the beauties of Africa. Now make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can download my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Number three is Singapore. If you've never been to Singapore, now is the perfect time. This metropolis mixes city living and farmland beauty into one sovereign island city slash state in maritime Southeast Asia. Singapore never saw lockdown as a necessary step to combat the virus. Singapore relied on both technology and contact tracing to rid themselves of COVID, and it worked. It also helped that wearing masks on public transportation was never an unusual thing to do in this culture. 
Travelers entering Singapore must comply with Singapore's public health and immigration requirements as specified by the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority on its website. You can find that information at safetravel.ica.gov.sg. But that's just the normal processes they have to visit their country. Number two is Anguilla. There are no COVID deaths reported in Anguilla. Anguilla definitely makes the choice of where to travel in 2021 easy. But Anguilla may not work if you're looking for one of the cheapest places to visit in 2021. But if money is not an issue, because you have mountains of cash saved up from not spending anything in 2020, Anguilla will do the trick. Hurricane season is between June 1st and November 30th. So go soon, because May through August is the ideal time. Anguilla is in what is called phase two of their reopening strategy to international travelers. The vacation bubble concept allows tourist stays with limited access to approved activities and amenities while limiting your interaction with Anguilla's population, but it's still worth it. Book a trip to Anguilla or any one of these vacation paradises right now. Passport Kings will make sure you get the lowest prices. Go to www.passportkings.com and compare offers from over 4 million flights and hotel brands in one place. Now Seychelles was going to be my number one pick, but as of February 2021, right when I finished editing this video, their COVID restrictions sent me an alert telling me that U.S. passengers were no longer allowed to visit. They also want you to please see CDC's FAQs for answers to questions about new requirements for proof of negative COVID-19 tests or recovery from COVID-19 for all air passengers arriving in the United States. So now that Seychelles couldn't take the number one spot, the number one spot is Fiji. Now Fiji is at level two, but has only had 56 confirmed cases and two deaths reported. Just keep in mind that there were 446,849 deaths reported in the USA. So if you're mumbling under your breath talking about, well, I guess it's just safer to stay home. No, it ain't. Fiji has opened its borders and resumed most transportation options. If you ever wanted to go skydiving, zip lining, fishing for the most exotic fish imaginable, or meet some of the coolest locals in the world, Fiji is the best country to visit in 2021. A lot of couples are getting hitched in Fiji right now. Are you traveling in 2021? And when do you think that this pandemic will be over? Type your thoughts in the comments. And remember my ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More is free. Get it by joining the newsletter at www.passportkings.com. I'm also attaching my full in video about my trips to Tanzania and Zanzibar in the end screen. So yeah, don't let these trying times keep you locked down. Go outside like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.